Hello, I'm Sam Upton and welcome to Season 2 of Hobart Music Week. Up first, the news. Honorary Tasmanian Courtney Barnett has announced a new American tour with Washington girl band Chastity Belt. Courtney's new album is to be released in March. A photo has been leaked online, hinting at possible new recordings from Sue 09, whose last and only release was a two-track demo in 2013. In breaking news, the new Sue 09 recordings have been shelved, along with the second Life Coach release and all past and present Meso Reds tracks featuring Zach on vocals. Since making it to the merge, Steve Wright has won the first individual immunity on the new season of Survivor Worlds Apart, after outlasting the other contestants in a balancing challenge. <laughs> Witches Brackets She Gets Her Spells From Supreme music video by All The Weathers has today been removed from YouTube due to its detailed visualisation of the song's lyrics in the chorus. Every Monday night from 8 to 9, all the cool kids at school tune their radio to 99.3 FM to hear Return to Oz, Edge Radio's dedicated Australian music program, hosted by Robert Fisher, the voice of our generation. You can also listen online at www.edgeradio.org.au or if you miss it you can listen on demand at www.edgeradio.org.au Edge Radio 99.3 FM Hobart Independent Youth Radio It's unreal
Dark Line, the sister of Sabra Line from the 730 Report, has released her debut solo album. Lackadaisical is a six track album with great production, instrumentation, and of course songs, and is well worth a listen. Even though he moved to the mainland, the self titled debut EP from Poster Boy is one of the best releases of the past few years. It is his best production yet, and let's hope there's more to come. We'll be back after these messages. Today I would like to take this opportunity to reinforce the natural order of relationships, that is, a polygamous marriage between man, or woman, and God. On the seventh day, while God was taking a well-earned rest, Satan snuck in through the back door and created the homosexuals. God tried to put a stop to the sodomizing savages when he wrote the Ten Commandments. In his original draft, at the top of the list was, Thou shalt not get feces on your phallus. But his editor Moses caved into pressure from left-wing commentators and had it removed, thus allowing the homosexual plague to spread like communism. Over the years it has become a destructive force in our Christian society. For example, abortion was invented by the homosexuals. Because if they can't give birth, no one can give birth. They do it up the bum, it's disgusting. Climate change science was also invented by the homosexuals. It has destabilised Western civilization. The only hope for survival is to heed the word of our Lord. It is written in the back passage of the great almighty book. When God caught Jesus in bed with another man, God did cry out, Jesus Christ, that's not supposed to go up there! The newly redeveloped Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery has today closed its doors indefinitely, claiming their budget is more stuffed than the animals on display inside. In an effort to stay relevant amidst pressure from the private sector, TMAG went under construction in 2011, and began referring to itself in the acronymic form. TMAG's $30 million Stage 1 redevelopment opened in March 2013 to much fanfare and acclaim, but since November last year the museum had reduced its opening hours after struggling to pay staff wages. A spokesperson for the museum has stated that, while TMAG may be closed for the unforeseeable future, the presence of art and culture within Hobart CBD will not be diminished thanks to the Argyle Street car park murals.
Whitford will put it up in towards that pocket. At least it's a bit drier out there. Gremis Gothen has grabbed. He gets it over towards Johnson. Now Johnson fires it in towards goals. From this position, they normally score, but not in yesterday's conditions. College now kicking it out from full back.